everyone. We're so glad that you can join us again this week. This week we're going to do um, lesson 23 in our apple seed handbooks. And the verse for this week is John 1, 29. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. So let's go ahead and get started with our puppet show. Okay, Cubbies? Let's call our friend Cubby Bear together. You ready? One, two, three. Cubby! Hi, boys and girls! I'm so happy to see you today! Hi, Cubby! We're happy to see you, too! What are you so excited about today? Timothy and I are going down to Cubby Bear Creek to see if Timothy's boat will float! Wow, that does sound exciting! Where did Timothy get his boat? He made it! With his dad in the woodshed! He used some sticks and string to make the bottom part, then he put some cloth on the top to make the sail! It's a very nice boat! Oh, I wish I could see it too, Cubby. Is it the boat big enough for you and Timothy to ride in? Oh no! It's just a small toy boat. But someday I hope to ride in a real boat. Yes, riding in boats can be fun. Have any of you ever ridden in a real boat before? I have. That's great. Here we go down to Cubby Bear Creek, to Cubby Bear Creek, to Cubby Bear Creek. Here we go down to Cubby Bear Creek to see if our boat will float. What are you singing, Cubby? Ha! Huh, it's the song Timothy and I sang as we hopped and jumped along to the creek. Can you teach it to us? Sure! Here we go down to Cubby Bear Creek, to Cubby Bear Creek, to Cubby Bear Creek. Here we go down to Cubby Bear Creek to see if our boat will float. Ruff, ruff! Cubby, you shouldn't go down to the creek with Timothy. It's too far from the house, and Timothy's dad told him not to go there without him. <laughs> Don't worry, Katie. Timothy said it's okay this time, because we'll only be gone for a minute. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Do you hear that? Timothy is calling me right now. I'll see you later. Goodbye, Cubbies. Bye. I don't have a good feeling about this. Timothy shouldn't disobey, and besides, the creek can be very dangerous. I'm going to follow behind and keep an eye on them. Good idea, Katie. I know Timothy and Cubby are excited to see their boat float, but they should have asked Timothy's dad to go with them. Goodbye, Katie. Please keep them safe. Bye. I'll do my best. Goodbye. All right. If you're ready to sing the Cubby song, give me a thumbs up. All right. Hi Cubbies, I hope you brought your listening ears. It's lesson time, so listen up. Timothy and Cubby were excited to get down to the creek today, weren't they? Why were they so excited? Yes, they wanted to see if Timothy's boat would float in the water. But Katie Cauley told us that Timothy wasn't supposed to go down to the creek without his dad. I wonder if Timothy and Cubby will get into trouble. So in our Bible lesson today, we are going to hear about some people who were excited to get down to the water too. This is in Luke 3 in our Bibles. Okay. So they were excited to get down to the water too, except they weren't checking to see if their boats would float, and they weren't disobeying their parents. They were hiking down to the Jordan River to see a man who looked a little strange. Does anyone know who they were going to see? They were going to see John the Baptist. There in the picture. This guy right here. John the Baptist wore clothes made of camel's hair. He probably didn't comb his hair very much because he lived outside all by himself in a place called a desert. 
and you won't believe what he ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What do you see John eating in the picture? John ate the food he found in the desert, which, had, which was locusts and wild honey from the bees. Cubbies, do you think you would like to eat, um, eat locusts for a snack? So locusts is like a grasshopper. I'm going to put some honey on it to make it taste extra yummy, and then I'm going to try eating it. Yeah. <laughs> Not yummy. That's yucky. Well, John looked like this. John looked like this so that people would know that he was a prophet from God. Another prophet from the Bible named Elijah had worn camel's hair clothes and lived in the desert too. Prophets listened for God's word and they would speak God's word to the people. They would speak God's word to the people. So the people, they listened to John and they did what, and, and what did he say? What did John say? He said, stop sinning. Love God and obey his commands. Share your food and your clothes with the people who don't have very much and don't lie, cheat, or steal. Now when the people heard John, some of them felt very sorry for their sin. Do you see some of the people crying there in the picture? They asked John to baptize them with water to show that they wanted to stop sinning and start obeying God. Now when John baptized people, he would lay them under the water for a few seconds and then raise them back up again. So soon the people started to wonder about John. Do you see the man pointing at John? The people felt so excited that they had to ask John a question. Are you the Savior we have been waiting to meet? No, John said. The Savior is much mightier than I am. He is coming soon. John was doing all these things to help the people get ready for the Savior. So one day a special visitor came to the river. The visitor's name was Jesus. Jesus asked John to baptize him. Are you sure? John asked. John didn't think he should baptize Jesus because Jesus had never sinned. But Jesus said, this is what God wants us to do. I must obey God. So John baptized Jesus with water. Then a surprising thing happened. I'm gonna read it from the Bible, what happened. It's John 3, 21 and 22. You can get it open here. Now, when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus ha also had been baptized and was praying, the heavens were opened, and the Holy Spirit descended on him in bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. So, Cubbies, did you hear that? God the Father was speaking to his son Jesus, and God said he was very happy, or pleased with his son and that he loved him. Now when John heard God's special words and saw the dove land on Jesus, he knew exactly who Jesus was. Jesus was God's son, the savior everyone had been waiting to meet. And later when Jesus, when John, I'm sorry, when John saw Jesus again, he told the people, behold, the lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Wait a minute, cubbies. That sounds like our memory verse. Can you say that again with me? It's John 1, 29. Behold, Behold the, the Lamb, Lamb of God, God who, who takes, takes away the sin of the world. Good job. Now, cubbies, Jesus is called the Lamb of God because he died on the cross to take away our sin. God sent the Savior. So let's thank God right now for sending His Savior to, to for sending His Son to be our Savior. Let's pray. All right, Cubbies. So in Cubbies class, you'll all remember when we pray, we fold our hands, 
we bow our heads and we close our eyes. So let's go ahead and do that now and let's talk to God and let's thank him for Jesus. God in heaven, we thank you for this time that we've had to talk about you. We pray that you would bless and be with all of the cubbies, no matter where they are, no matter what they're doing. We pray that you would keep them safe. We pray that all of the cubbies would come to know you at a young age. And uh, we just thank you for sending your son Jesus. We thank you that uh, he took our, pro our place on the cross and he died for our sins, but he didn't stay dead because three days later he came alive again. And we're so thankful that you sent the Savior. We love you, Jesus, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Goodbye, cubbies. Bye. Have a good week.